Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on Saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses turned and came down the mountain with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, tablets that were written on both sides, front and back, tablets that were made by God having inscriptions on them 
that were engraved by God himself. Now, when Joshua heard the noise of the people shouting, he said to Moses, That sounds like a battle in the camp. But Moses answered, It does not sound like cries of victory, nor does it sound the cries of defeat. The sounds that I hear are cries of revelry. As he drew near the camp, he saw the calf and the dancing. With that, Moses' wrath flared up, so that he threw the tablets down and broke them in the base of the mountain. Taking the calf they had made, he fused it in the fire and then ground it down to powder, which he scattered on the water and made the children of Israel drink. Moses asked Aaron, What did these people ever do to you, that you should lead them into so grave a sin? Aaron replied, Let not my Lord be angry. You know well enough how prone the people are to evil. They said to me, Make us a God to be our leader. So for the man Moses who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. So I told them, Let anyone who has gold jewelry take it off. They gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and this calf came out. On the next day, Moses said to the people, You have committed a grave sin. I will go up to the Lord then. Perhaps I may be able to make atonement for your sin. So Moses went back to the Lord and said, Ah, oh, this people has indeed committed a grave sin in making a god of gold for themselves. If you would only forgive their sin, if you will not, then strike me out of the book that you have written. The Lord answered, him only who has sinned against me will I strike out of my book. Now go and lead the people to the place I have told you. My angel will go before you. When it is time for me to punish, I will punish them for their sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. They forgot the God who had saved them who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Then He spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, His chosen one, withstood Him in the bridge to turn back His destructive wrath. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that the person took and sowed into a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds. Yet, when fully grown, it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush that birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until, until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what had been said to the prophet, I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what has lain hidden from the foundations of the world. May their brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Scientists would always marvel as how God has somehow programmed something into producing what it was designed to be. I am referring to how nature, especially plants, no? plants would prosper sa mga plantito ho at mga plantita dito. No? We know na kapag nabigyan ka ng buto ng munggo, hindi ito lalaki bilang sitaw. If we would buy seedlings ng talong, hindi ito lalaki ng bilang isang kamatis. Kung meron tayong buto ng akasya, hindi ito lalaki ng bilang isang balete. It has a certain memory implanted in there, designed, programmed to produce no? what its designer, what its architect no? wanted it to become. However, no? why is it that for us men, when God somehow designed us to go to Him, designed us to somehow be loyal to Him and Him to us, no? hindi ito natin nagagawa. I am referring in the first reading. We've heard in the first reading, no? in the book of Exodus, no? how Moses was finally able to download no? download the commandments of God in his tablet. No? Sabi nila si Moses daw ang unang tao na nakapag-download from the cloud. No? Downloading the commandments of God in his tablet. No? Pero nagulat siya, pagbaba niya, hala, ang mga tao doon, nagsasaya, no? Nagsasaya sila dahil meron na silang bagong Diyos. Nagsasaya sila dahil nalingat lang ng kote si Moises, no? nagpunta ng bundok, nag-download ng Ten Commandments. But only to find out that they have already forgotten what mighty deed God has shown them by liberating them from their slavery from the Egyptians. Forgetfulness really is a factor. No? One of the parang nakakatuwa na nakakainis. 
na feature ng tao. And I guess, my dear brothers and sisters, we could all relate to this character. No? Madaling makalimot. Bakit hindi natin maalala no? ng lubusan, especially when we are in the midst of crisis, that there is God, that He has been gracious to us, that He will never leave us, that we are supposed to be what? Seeds of the kingdom as what Jesus is telling us in the Gospel. We are seeds to be casted here on earth so that the possibility of the kingdom of God could emerge. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, perhaps in this Holy Mass, no, it is good to ask ourselves, ano bang klaseng binhi tayo? sa pagpapatuloy natin sa ating pag-journey dito sa lupa, in our journey of faith, what kind of seed do we manifest? Do we always remember our identity as disciples of Jesus? As fellow members of one church? O just like the Israelites, no? kapag nalingat lang ng konti, tapo na ang mga natutunan hindi na nakali, hindi na maalala meron ng ibang diyos no? na dinadasalan hindi na nagtitiwala hindi na nakakaproduce ng bungang inaasahan sa atin ng diyos bilang mga binhi ng kanyang kaharian. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are also remembering the memorial of Saints Joachim and Anne. Sila ang mga granny no? at grandfather ni Jesus. And I'm sure we celebrate this feast because from their memory lives on the memory of Mary and Jesus. Looking back, they have contributed much no? for what Mary has become and eventually Jesus has become and eventually us as followers of Jesus. May we be healed, my dear brothers and sisters, by our forgetfulness and always remember our original design that we are, as Jesus would call us, seeds already casted to make the kingdom of heaven possible here on earth. Amen. Please stand. With Saints Joachim and Anne, let us trust in the Lord who knows the needs of our families and the community of the church. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may defend the sanctity of marriage and the value of family life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer, that parents may inculcate in the minds and heart of the children the ways of love and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that children may respect and love their parents and grandparents. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That couples who are estranged from one another may rediscover and appreciate one another in the spirit of peace, forgiveness, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may grant peace to our deceased family members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, bless our homes, unite your sons and daughters in the one family of your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of our homage, and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever anew and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, and fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven, Heaven and earth, earth are full, full of your, your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Joachim and Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed home and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, but only the, say word, the word, and my soul, and my soul, shall, soul be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery, humanity might be born again from you, we pray that in your kindness, you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.